y'all must just think I fell off the turnip truck. Like, <laughs> you got to be kidding, right? Like, here I am. <laughs> I'm just over here trying to do my R&B divas. That's all I'm trying to do. That, that's it, my R&B divas. So as I'm getting ready <laughs> to do another video, this pops up on my news feed. A snippet from the Breakfast Club, I see Portia, of all people, <laughs> reporting <laughs> on Deborah Lee and how, allegedly, let me find my alleged button, because y'all know how it is. I keep saying y'all like it. It comes from Deborah Lee, but I'm just saying, still allegedly. So Deborah Lee is going around saying, now, I want to make sure I understand this correctly, you know. Deborah Lee is saying that she had a career that was going well for herself for 10 years. Like she, she was doing things like, you know, big things, 10 year career. She's married and everything is just wonderful. You know, great career. Over at BET, I'm assuming this is BET. 10 years, just working working her way up the corporate ladder. Yes, just doing her thing, being a successful African-American woman, married, didn't say anything about children. I didn't look up her bio or anything. Just the foolishness of it all is enough for me to talk about. And so all of a sudden, she finds herself having an affair with Bob Johnson, the founder of BET, Black Entertainment Television. She's married and he's married. Yes, y'all, I am really doing this for real. She's married and he's married. And well, somehow or another, <laughs> The affair ends up with Deborah getting a divorce from her husband, and I guess Bob getting a divorce from his wife. Like they're a divorce. Go figure, right? Yeah, like they're having an affair, and it's not supposed to, you know, come out. And everything is just supposed to go wonderful and well for old Deborah. And old Bob, right? Like, there they are just having wonderful, great things in their career. And Deborah is getting her pita and her pay in the same place. Yes, old Deborah. And well, there she is. <laughs> just doing her thing, allegedly. So if they're having an affair, just imagine all of the places that Deborah is having an affair. Really. Hmm. Over at BED. Hmm. And if she's having an affair with Bob Johnson, founder of BET, I'm sure that came with some perks. I would like to think so. Hmm. And so now she wants us to believe that she was treated unfairly. Because after the divorce and the affair, Bob was like, well, if this is awkward for you, you know, you can, you can leave. I mean, you can go. But I can't go. I just can't. I can't go because I've lost my husband. Now I'm going to lose my job. And I have had an affair with the boss. And oh my God. Oh God. The boss. I'm having 
an affair with. He's not going to write me a good letter of recommendation. <laughs> He's not going to write her a good letter of recommendation. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing at this. If you think I'm going to believe her story. Oh, this is a trip. Oh, this is a real trip. Oh my gosh. Like, come on. Come back to reality. A man who is not faithful to his wife is going to be faithful to his mistress and you can stay. Like, you can stay. Like, yes, yes, stay. You can stay, you know and have all of the wonderful perks. And no, no, I can't S-E-X you up any longer. And I can deal with that in the workplace. You know, just, just stay around. It's over. Lady, if you don't get your, if you think we are that gullible, like how dare you? And now, this here has become totally ridiculous to me. It has, because you have not accepted any accountability, none whatsoever. You didn't come out and say, oh my gosh, you guys, I destroyed my life. Like, I made a mistake. We were two ships passing in the night. And somehow or another, we just found ourselves just caught up in an affair. Oh, I'm sorry, husband, family. I apologize even to myself that I ruined my life by having an affair with my boss. I put myself in a complicated situation. And now, you say, Deborah, I, I didn't have anybody to talk to. I, I was definitely in a complex situation. I, it was a hostile environment, and he was not going to write me a good letter of recommendation to get another job because I had an affair with him. He was not going to do right by me. Oh, gosh. Lady, you could have kept this story. You have not done anything for the Me Too movement. If anything, you have set it back to 19, <laughs> 1900. <laughs> it's how far you have set this back. And I hope this here is just as, as, as hilarious as I'm saying it, it is because it makes no sense for you to think for one minute that somebody's going to have pity on you because you slept with the boss. And you are very unapologetic for doing so. Yes, you are. As a matter of fact, it sounds like to me you're more concerned about yourself still than anyone. How can I move up in this company? How can I move up in this company? I had an affair. I done messed up my marriage. I done messed up my life. <laughs> and now this man <laughs> is not going to do right by me. I like to think that if after this, this is just my opinion, because of how you saying you felt about it and what was going on. So then Bob is no longer the founder or the CEO of BET. So it sounds like to me, what you're not saying to us is that you maneuvered him out the way so you could get the position. That's what it sounds like. It just sounds like that to me. You maneuvered him out the way. You know what? You something about this is filed to me, and so here I am. <laughs> oh, young me at the time, 
Oh, just listening to music and just thinking that BET is all about the culture. And here the two of you are sneaking, <laughs> just sneaking around, <laughs> messing up the BET money. And now, <laughs> lady, you're so full of yourself. You, you know, now that I think about the story and how you are telling it, and now I get to go out and show that I am for black women all over the place. I really didn't want to do it. But here I am just standing, standing out <laughs> in the BET Awards, just representing black women. Lady, all you have done, if the way you're telling this story is the way you are telling it, is you've shown that women can do it just as rough as men or even better. That's what you have done. I have no pity on you because you have not learned the lesson yet. And it's still some umpteen years later. Come on, Deb. What lesson have you learned about it? You have taken something and you have just really and truly just think that someone like myself and a whole lot of other people and then going to feel sympathy for you? Oh, not the mistake. Some people really and truly probably have found themselves in an uncompromising position where, you know, you looked at each other too long. <laughs> You know, you kind of hugged goodbye and you was like, oh, I felt something. You know what I'm saying? Like some, sometimes those things can happen. And now you want to me too. Your story. Let me, 10 years, you climbed the corporate ladder. Who, who is your publicist? Who, who put this? Somebody put you up to this. Somebody literally said, this is a good idea because whoever gave you the uh, advice to do this threw you in front of the bus. <laughs> no accountability at all. Nowhere in that did you say, I apologize to my ex-husband for what I put him through or my family, for what I put them through. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry for what I put myself through. And if you did, forgive me if you said it because I only heard the snippet, but still, I didn't have no, I went to therapy. Honey, you should have went to therapy. <laughs> it's not funny. It's just the idea you, you but lady, you done did this all backwards. You still need therapy. I, I always knew, yeah, yeah, I was about to say it. Thank you, Jesus. I was about to say it. Something about the, the, the two of you all just bothers me right now. It does. You, 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 you don't even make, Bob is probably somewhere like, oh my gosh. Lady, I know what you did. I know what you did. I know what you did. Allegedly, I know what you did. You found yourself <laughs> in a situation where I'm just going to assume I don't know your husband at the time. I don't know anything about you people. But here's what I'm willing to bet. This is just me. Bob is not that very attractive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Bob has a lot of money and he is doing a whole lot of things over there at BET. And you, just like anybody else, maneuvered your way over to a man who's probably, what, he was a billionaire or something like that, but he has a whole lot of money. That's what I'm thinking. A lot of money. And here you are. You done found yourself <laughs> lap tied to Teddy Wayne Slocum. <laughs> And you all have lost your families. 
But see, Bob is going to be all right, right? Bob is going to be all right because at the end of the day, Bob has money. He might have got hit in the pockets. He probably did. He That ex-wife probably hit him dead center in the pockets. He, he probably, whoever his wife was at the time, probably did a one need of Jordan. I don't know. I'm just saying probably did a one need of Jordan and, and, and took him. <laughs> she probably didn't take his whole wardrobe. She probably left him with a pair of pants, but she took the shirt and left him the pants. You know, she took half. <laughs> I'm good. I got money. I'll be all right. This, that, and the other. But you, lady, <laughs> see, she was married to him. She, she I'll be all right. <laughs> That's probably what Bob wife said. I'll be all right. Excuse me, I lost my beard. I'll be all right. But you, on the other hand, you're not all right. You ain't, you, you, you're not there, but you're getting there. What I got to do? I got to figure this out. How can I make this work for me? How can I make this work for me? It sounds like to me what you're doing is that you're not already enough figured out how to get this man. And you losing everything. I need somebody to talk to to help me understand how can I make this work for me because I'm losing everything. I need to talk to somebody. And old Bobby that found himself. Now he either lost a wife. He lost his wife and his family if he has children. He lost his wife and children with the affair you said. Y'all done lost y'all families. Bob done lost his shirt. So he's walking around with just only a pair of pants and some shoes. And so now you're getting even, allegedly. And so what you're going to do? I got to keep my job. And how can I keep my job? Oh, you sought some advice, I'm sure. And that advice was, well... You can say he's making it difficult for you while you at work. You know, I mean, y'all done had an affair. You got your Peter and your pay in the same place. You know, get your Peter and your pay in the same place. Do that. <laughs> so you done pushed him and moved, maneuvered him out. Lady, you, you, this story lacks integrity. How dare you? I still don't understand how you tried to make this work for you. <laughs> Even now, like this is something I would have kept my mouth shut about. The nerve. And for people to come in and try to make us make this story make sense. Does it make sense at all? Oh. I wouldn't. I just can't do this. I just can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. I don't believe it. I mean, something about you right now, both of you, just irks me. I mean, literally. I mean, just looking at the picture alone, like the way y'all looking in these pictures, almost to me like you are just very unhappy people. Still. <sighs> just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Just doesn't make sense. Just when we get almost getting over this Shaka Khan come in, here you come. I mean, just, just out of nowhere. Who, who, it, who is advising you? <laughs> just like, and you thought this was okay? Well, y'all, I don't know. I, 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 I don't care how any of you all feel at all about what I just said. I really truly don't. I don't. 
So for those of you all who just don't quite get it, well, I'm, I'm going to say it. <laughs> These last 10 minutes, I'm going to wrap it up. Two people working together. They're working together. Bob, <laughs> you know, BET CEO, founder, right, of BET, is moving, is progressing, is, it's, you know, really and truly, you know, making an impact, you know, culturally, the channel and everything is probably like any other man who just, well, as Rick James would say, love them and leave them. Allegedly, use and abuse them. Cold as ice. You know, and he comes across you or you come across him. And one day the two of you just work together. I am. I refuse to buy the book, first of all. And you having an affair. Well, man, I'm done. I'm done. Like, it, it is what it is. If no one that picked up this story. And you, 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 you have, you are representing black women wonderfully. Now take that back. Women, period. Young ladies. Like this is what you done put out for women. To maneuver this man out the way. You, the two of you, you know, they're saying the two of you deserve each other. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm somebody is definitely putting their behind where their heart desires to be. Mm. But remember, I love you and God loves you best, but this here is I cannot love. Stomach, any of it. Lady, you have just literally, truly just went back. You, We are back in 1900. I mean, literally, the year 1900 is where you just put the whole culture you have. You have made yourself and Bob like, I, what is it? The donkey of the day, because this is where I got the story from, the breakfast club. So I'm not quite sure why Charlemagne the God did not put you on the donkey of the day. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, oh, y'all, i see y'all next video because this here is just, mm, all right, mm -hmm, tell me anything.